I think we are now in a um, sort of um, renaissance of lighting design. Historically speaking, the use of daylight was quite intelligent um, and very much driven by human experience and the human need. And to me, lighting design is now moving to its next stage. We gain a lot of information from our surroundings without being explicitly aware of it. That interests me a lot. You begin to create a space that it's in constant flux, but in a very positive way. So it's constantly changing, it's constantly responding. It responds to the people using it. They become the triggers that allow the wall uh, to change. It tracks people's movement, it understands depth, and from that, the algorithm calculates um, different visuals and different looks. For the interaction, we, we use the unpredictability of human behavior to our benefit. So this creates this ever-changing, ever-responding environment. It makes the light uh, connected to its immediate surroundings. Uh, it makes it interactive, it makes it reactive. The observer becomes part of the piece. Public spaces are very obvious locations for something like this because we're talking of participation. Hospitality comes to mind very quickly because um, in that world you're trying to create experiences, you're trying to create memories, uh, these sort of like memory stains. With, with light we're embedding art into architecture.